Hey there boys and girls, my name is Kyle, better on the YouTube as Blinkcraft, and today I'm going to be talking about one of the easiest ways to texture stuff. Now people all the time ask me, they're like, oh, Kyle, why, why don't you just use the built-in stuff with the Blender? Why don't you just assign colors to faces like you used to? And the thing is, that's great for just Blender, but I want to bring things over to Unity. I want to make game assets, not just make something cool in Blender. And so, you might be like, well, that seems pretty easy, because, you know, when you import into Unity, it, it brings in the materials with you, but it doesn't actually bring in the diffuse color. It just brings in the material and creates it for you. You still have to go through one at a time and copy over the hex code or the RGB values or whatever you use, and you have to copy that over into Unity for every single material. So for the example we have here, if you look at it, it's a pretty simple model. It doesn't have too much going on, but it has like a half dozen, maybe even a dozen materials, and it constantly have to bring them back over, and you figure out how do you want to handle all your materials, the naming convention for trying to figure out everything, make the folders, move everything around, and you have to figure out which material goes to which one, trying to adjust it. It becomes quite a bit of work and it can be a hassle. So this is my go-to strat on how to actually handle materials. So what I'll do, I'll make one diffuse texture in Blender, I'll then assign that material to every single model. And then all I have to do is just do some really quick and dirty unwraps and just throw the UVs into the correct portion of the texture. So how do I actually make my textures? Well in Photoshop, I'll usually go something like 128, 256, 512, or 1024. I usually don't go over 1024 um, for my overall texture size, but then on top of that what I'll do is I'll make these little squares, they'll be usually about 16 by 16, and then I can just assign these squares whatever colors I want and I just kind of start lining them up. And then usually I organize them all by folders and give them some sort of name so I can kind of keep track a little bit. I'll then export out the entire texture, bring it in, and then I'll just assign the UVs just to be within that little square for that color. Now all my colors are coming from one file and I can edit it all in one place. So it makes it really easy if I need to slightly adjust colors. Now on top of that, when I bring it into Unity, I can just make one material and just assign the material to everything and then the UVs are gonna work. Now there is a downside to this method and it's the fact that if you're one of those boys that actually wants to get high quality ambient occlusion, you actually take the time to unwrap everything properly, make sure it's one continuous model, and then you actually want to bake on the ambient occlusion, you're, it's not going to work because I have overlapping textures. So if I'm going to bake it on, it's going to bake it onto one texture map and then it's just not going to work out because one thing might be over top of another one for different objects. And so then when I'm baking on the textures, it's going to bake on the first one, but then when I bake on the second one, it's going to override it and it's going to look like shit. So it, if you're one of those people that actually does that, it's not going to work. But honestly, for me, just using the default in engine ambient occlusion. It does the job well enough. It still looks pretty bad, but then on top of that, I have Sonic Ether's global illumination, so with the ambient occlusion that comes with that, it it looks good enough within there for me. So I don't worry about it too much. So overall, this is a pretty quick and dirty way that you can add in textures. You can actually keep track of everything pretty easily and you can update stuff whenever you want. It's the method I suggest you use. It's working out well for me. If you have any questions or tutorial suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. As always, my name is Kyle. You just sent something cool today, and I'll see you next time.